guys, this is something I've really been looking forward to. This is um, highlights of the Kenny Omega versus Will Osprey match. Now, that took place some time ago, but immediately, you guys all remember, it was like legend for how good it was. And I've just never taken the time to sit down and watch it. Now, I've become somewhat familiar with Osprey and, uh, am I saying it right? Osprey or Osprey? Osprey and Omega, uh, just in, you know, having seen clips of them. They both seem to be pretty pretty magnificent workers. I, I, I've been anxious to see this match. Now, this is a highlight reel that's on YouTube. Hopefully, we can watch this and not have the video blocked. If you're watching this intro, I'm going to say we succeeded in that, hopefully. <laughs> but if it's, you know, if it's edited up right, they'll usually let it go. They said the um, crowd was really hot for this match, too, I remember reading. But you get a five-star match, and typically the crowd will be hot. Hot spray. Sorry about that, Will. I'm going to be doing some videos too, listening to Cornette go off on Omega because I'm trying to understand exactly why he hates the guy so much. We'll break that down too. All right, here we go. Good old chain wrestling. I, I like it especially when you get a couple of guys who can high fly and float around, do some good old chain wrestling. Now, I'm not one of these old guys that's like, we don't do enough chain, every match should start. No, not at all. I mean, it's just fun to mix it in here or there. Not every match should start with chain wrestling. A lot of times it doesn't work well for the story you're trying to tell at all. That's old school stuff. We've been doing that stuff forever. Oh, oh, I see that again. That was different. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that that was pretty imaginative because, you know, that's always been the escape from that head scissors is to work yourself into that bed over position to slip out and he kind of, <laughs> kind of piled, mini pile drove him. There we go. He's got to get chops in. This is something I, I do like the, um, that's relatively new, is the, um, Throwing those repeated forearms rather than the punches a lot of times in the corner. I, I like that. That looks good. It looks strong. See, that was a, that was a, I, I hate to keep pausing. That was a perfect elbow. Just because see how when Osprey made contact, he, I, I mean, it's still a little sting to that. You, you, you make contact. But he pushes his head more than impacts his head. He did that perfect. I mean, not that we should be surprised by that. Oh, look at that athleticism. I wish I had that at one time. There we go. Choppy, choppy. I'm always a punch connoisseur. Punches are something I, I considered myself good at and worked hard at. My work punches. And you guys let me know, too, in the comments if you want. I'll make a video. I can do it with... I have a, a punching bob downstairs. I can show you what I did for work punches if you want to see a little tutorial on it or, or just the explanation of it. Ooh. Oh, cool. I like that. that it's funny. Now... That looked good. To go sick. An abdominal stretch. These guys are pulling out some of the old school stuff. Started with chain wrestling. Got an abdominal stretch in here. I was starting to say, too, chops have been around since I've been around wrestling. They've, they've been there forever. But it seems like they've gotten maybe Gunther's. Well, not just him. There's a lot of guys. Big Show, of course, had the monster chop. But it just seems like they're more popular now than they ever were. They're more integral to matches. Oh, that, what's that like? A, just a little thrust to the abdomen? Oh, that was, yeah, that looks good. I like stuff like that. There you go. Like that drop kick to the knee. I had a specific punch I used to do that was um, non-typical, and I did it because in real life, it would actually hurt. 
but I don't know if a lot of people realize that, so I'm not sure how effective it was. I'll explain it to you at some point. These guys do look smooth with everything they do, though. See what I mean about chops? Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I both love that and hate it because it makes me jealous. <laughs> there was no way ever in my life was I going to do a kick like that. <laughs> that, that was cool. <laughs> Wow! Right off the ropes. That was cool. That was imaginative. All right, now there's a, I, there's a uh, ring apron spot. I think we can all agree on. Really worked. Yes, that one. That one was worth the bump. Nice, just taking it full on. <laughs> Fighting the hand. Nice. guys are working I mean that's not that bad a bump to take because of the way that protector there is structured but it still looks really good uh, now now that's that's good old school storytelling to just let's just be two tough guys and punch take turns punching each other that was well delivered That's what makes this match great to me, though, is they're just so good at making everything look strong. <laughs> Got him with the flag. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Whenever you can bring some nationalism into it. <laughs> I see why this match was so well regarded, though. The Oh, uh, I was just going to say, I would so much rather take that than give it. And, and again, th those steps are not, they're not steel, obviously, and they're a thinner metal. Trust me, it still hurts to land on them, especially oh, with that edge right there. Oh, oh damn. They're doing a, they've worked this match where they're doing a lot of the stuff to where they you know, they can really deliver the blows without killing each other. I like that. Nice looking Germans. Oh, I love it. I, I'm a nerd. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I got to see that again. I love that stuff. <laughs> again, a lot of it's probably just, I, I won't say based in, Jealousy. I, I make jokes about that. Just in awe, because I was never able to do stuff like that. Wow, that was cool. Is that like a uh, modified sharpshooter? Uh, those chests were sore for several days, guaranteed. This is good shit. I think I was expecting more between the two of them because they are such fantastic athletes and everything. I was expecting it to be uh, a match with a lot of big high-flying spots, which it is, and really cool spots, but I didn't expect this kind of, oh, this kind of brutality in it too. I mean, doing that good a job of delivering the brutality of the hardcore stuff. Nice. Oh, man. I love spots like that. That's, now, that's an old school pile driver. I haven't seen anybody do that with, and again, just because, could be because I don't see enough wrestling. But back in the day, a lot of the guys did it grabbing the trunks to pull them up into position. I don't see that much anymore. These guys are some, are really inventive. Here we go. Perfect catch. Perfect landing. Damn. Omega baited it perfectly. <laughs> Exchange of the kicks. Exchange of the clotheslines. Nice. Great storytelling within this match. Oh. I I just love the looks of these moves.
Both these guys are big on the um, the big knees, aren't they? But again, they should be. They they deliver them really well. Another one. Oh, and we brought in a foreign object even. Nice. Pulled out every old trope. I like that. Oh. That's a cool move. I like that. Sitting right out into that. Kicked out. Look at that crowd. Yeah. Yeah. These guys earned it. Damn. What the? Holy shit what these guys put into this match. Oh, that, that was cool too. A short elbow strike like that. They're, and they're working adequately snug too. They're, a lot of this stuff, you know, obviously they worked it out together. They're landing stuff. Got him. I didn't even know who won that match. I probably did at one point and forgot. That was good. I mean, even with it just being highlights, I, I got jacked up watching that match. That was good shit. Well done. That that worked. I, I'm actually. I, I don't regret having not watched it prior. It was fun getting to watch the highlights with you guys because now we'll be able to talk about it all in the uh, in the comments. And you guys always explain backstories to me and more details of everything that went on during the match prior to the match since the match that was good stuff i really like all the old school wrestling they worked into a match that is pure new school as well that just a really really well-rounded match 